Whether you're a Buckeye by birth or just looking to plant some roots in the heartland, we've got the inside scoop on the best places to live, work, and play. From the bustling city life of Columbus to the serene beauty of Lake Erie's shores, there's a little something for everyone in the Buckeye State. And we're not just talking about the legendary cornfields, though those are pretty iconic too. Get ready for a whirlwind tour as we explore the quaint communities, vibrant cultural scenes, and mouth-watering cuisine that makes Ohio a top-notch place to call home. Number 10. Akron Akron is a special place. It's got a long history and lots of different folks, but it still feels like a big, friendly family. You can enjoy all four seasons in Akron. There's some rain, some snow, and plenty of sunny days. If you're thinking about starting or growing your family, the best neighborhoods are Montrose Ghent East, Fairlawn Heights, and Merriman Hills. These areas have really good schools. In Akron, you can take your dog to some cool parks, go shopping at local farmers markets, and listen to talented musicians. Don't forget to try the tasty coffee roasted right here. For a fun night out, you can visit the Akron Civic Theater, watch the Soapbox Derby, or see animals at the Akron Zoo. Living in Akron won't break the bank, and it's not too big or too small. It's just the right size, with a great cost of living. So if you're looking for a welcoming place to call home, Akron's got the charm you need. Number 9. Canton Massillon Canton and Massillon are two towns in Stark County, with Canton being the bigger one. Together they have around 70,000 people and seven medical centers. These towns tend to have more conservative views, and the neighborhoods people like the most are North Canton, Uniontown, and Greentown. Canton does something cool every month. They have a celebration where they show off art, music, local businesses, and restaurants in the Canton Arts District. It happens on the first Friday of each month. You can also visit the Pro Football Hall of Fame and McKinley Presidential Library and Museum. In Canton, you get the cozy feel of a small town with the advantages of a bigger town. Just eight miles west of Canton, you'll find Massillon. It's a close-knit community that really loves high school sports, especially football. The schools here are some of the best in the state, and when students graduate, there are plenty of opportunities waiting for them. Nature is a big part of Massillon's charm. With the Jackson Bonk State Nature Preserve right in town, it's a 58-acre protected area with wetlands that hikers and locals enjoy. So whether you pick Canton or Massillon, there's something special about each of them. Number 8. Lima, Ohio Lima is a town where people often have conservative views. It's also a place where you can have a lot of fun at events and try some fantastic local restaurants like the Met, the Hollander, and Kewpie Hamburgers. Lima is a small town with about 37,000 people, and it's a good spot if you want to start a family. Homes are not too expensive, and there are some schools for kids to choose from. Some neighborhoods folks like are Bluffton, Fort Shawnee, and Delphos. If you're in a mood to learn something, you can visit places like the Allen County Historical Society and Museum, Art Space Lima, or the Lower Historical Farm. Many restaurants in Lima are pet-friendly, and you can take a stroll on the Lima Rotary Riverwalk, a trail that you can use for different activities. Number 7. Youngstown and Warren In the northeastern part of Ohio, you'll find Youngstown and Warren. Youngstown is pretty close to the Pennsylvania state line, just about 10 miles away. It's a town where families are important, and it's not too expensive to live here. The schools are great. Some neighborhoods people like are Boardman, Poland, and Canfield. Homes here are quite affordable, with a typical home costing about $57,300. That's way less than the average price in the whole country. Warren is a bit smaller, but it's full of energy and has some impressive old buildings and history. Here, football brings together around 39,000 people who live here. You can learn a lot about cars at the National Packard Museum. It's all about the Packard family and how they influence the car industry. Both Youngstown and Warren have more conservative vibes, and they've got a total of 11 hotels where you can stay with your pets. So whether you pick Youngstown or Warren, there's something for everyone to enjoy. Number 6. Steubenville Nestled by the Ohio River, not too far from Pittsburgh, you'll find Steubenville, a cozy town of around 18,000 folks. People here really pitch in for their communities. 
and the most popular neighborhoods include Steubenville West, Fernwood, and Pottery Edition. Every month, they celebrate First Fridays. It's a blast! The town shuts down its main street and transforms it into a lively hub with live music, tasty food trucks, and street vendors. When summer rolls around, you can expect a pleasant average temperature of 83 Fahrenheit. It's the perfect time to explore historic Fort Steuben, Beatty Park, or Fernwood State Forest. Steubenville's public schools have a great reputation, and the political vibe tends to lean towards the conservative side. So if you're looking for a peaceful and engaged community with warm weather and fun events, Steubenville might just be the spot for you. Number 5. Dayton and Springfield Dayton, the sixth largest city in Ohio, sits about 25 miles southwest of Springfield. It's a special and diverse place, and because it's not too expensive to live here, many people want to buy a house and raise a family in Dayton. The typical home price is at $150,237. If you're into aviation, you're in luck because there are some great places to visit, like the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force, Dayton Aviation Heritage National Historic Park, and America's Packard Museum. Springfield is a smaller town with fewer than 60,000 people. It has a cozy small town vibe where you can get through grocery store lines quickly and you won't run into much traffic. Together, Dayton and Springfield have 41 hospitals and 40 hotels that welcome pets. When it comes to politics, these two towns lean somewhat liberal. So whether you pick Dayton or Springfield, there's a lot to love about this part of Ohio. Number 4. Hamilton and Middletown Hamilton and Middletown are two towns in Butler County, and they're not too far apart, just about 12 miles or a short 25-minute drive. Both towns are quite small, with less than 65,000 people in each. They have that cozy suburban feel and a friendly Midwest vibe. People here lean a bit more toward liberal views, and the neighborhood's folks like most are Madeira, Montgomery, and Blue Ash. Homes in these towns are a good deal, costing less than the national average at $177,562. If you ever want to visit bigger cities nearby, it's super easy. Downtown Middletown is a lively spot where you can hang out with your family and friends. You'll find local restaurants, wine bars, breweries, pubs, event venues, shops, live music, and cool art. And there are some lovely parks where you can bring your pets to. These towns might be small, but there's a lot of excitement and charm to discover. Number 3. Sandusky Sandusky is a charming town by the lake with around 25,000 folks. It's filled with lots of fun things to do. You can check out the biggest indoor water park in the Midwest, have a day of fun at Cedar Point Amusement Park, or wander through the lovely historic downtown area. When summer arrives, the locals love to swim, sail, and fish in the lake. Some of the nearby neighborhoods people like are Fremont, Ballville, and Clyde. The schools here are pretty great, and they make sure students are ready for college or learning a trade. Even though Sandusky is a smaller place, they've got a surprising number of 41 hospitals in the city. So if you're thinking about Sandusky, there's a lot to enjoy in this cozy lakeside town. Number 2. Columbus Columbus, Ohio's capital city, is a special place. It's home to one of the best colleges in the state and is known for its rich mix of cultures. The art scene here is alive and kicking with lots of music venues, such as Newport Music Hall, Schottenstein Center, and the Lincoln Theater. For families, there are growing neighborhoods like Oakwood and Centerville. They have fantastic schools and their own cool shops to check out. Don't miss the Franklin Park Conservatory and Botanical Gardens, Seattle Mile, and Ohio Stadium. They're big hits. Columbus is a place where people tend to have more liberal views, and it's really welcoming to pets. You'll find plenty of activities, hotels, and services for your furry friend. So Columbus is a city that has a little something for everyone. Number 1. Mansfield Mansfield is a lovely, calm, and welcoming city with lots of fun things to do. It's in a handy spot between Cleveland and Columbus. In downtown Mansfield, you can explore history, like the Carousel District and the Restored Renaissance Theater. If you have a pet, there are 13 hotels that welcome them, and you can even take your dog to the Spring Mill Drive-In Theater. Mansfield has unique places to visit, such as the Ohio State Reformatory, 
which is where they filmed the Shawshank Redemption. There's also the Mansfield Art Center for art lovers. In the winter, you can enjoy about 36 inches of snow and have a blast skiing, snowboarding, and tubing at snow trails. Mansfield is great because it's not too expensive to live here and there are family-friendly neighborhoods. You also have lots of college options and Columbus isn't too far away. That's why more and more folks are thinking about making Mansfield their home sweet home. Now you know the best places to live in Ohio. Get ready and check these out. Who knows, your dream home may be waiting for you in one of these awesome areas.